Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Rosie and this is a day in the life of an archaeological science research assistant at the University of Cambridge. Take my hand and hold it tight. I started my day around 7.45am and by quarter past eight I was downstairs making myself a coffee. I was looking at my to-do list and also planning which Lingoda classes to book for the week ahead. As many of you already know, I'm learning Spanish from scratch for my job because pre-Hispanic Colombian archaeology is central to our research project. I want to be able to be self-sufficient during our research trips to Colombia and also I think it's just the respectful thing to do to talk to the local people in their own language, especially since we're being given such a privileged access to their local history and archaeology. Currently, I'm learning by doing a Lingoda super sprint, so I have to schedule a lesson every day pretty much up until my first trip in June. Thankfully, the timings are really flexible so I can fit lessons in around work and also choose the topics that I need to practice the most. I scheduled that day's lesson for 6 p.m. After getting myself organized, I walked to the classics library to pick up some books for my boss and then do some work. Cambridge was looking absolutely stunning in the sun and so many people were punting, all the tulips were out and this instantly put me in a really good mood. Verdict of the classics library, I love it. I will definitely be going back there more often. I was working on a presentation for my reverse action colleagues to share some findings of a literature search on measuring skill and difficulty involved in craft production. Craft productions are a really key part of our research, specifically how can luxury or skilled crafts or more generally complex technologies be sustained in the absence of coercive powers. And our key focal points are some stateless societies of pre-Hispanic Colombia, so the Moisca and Nariño. We're also looking at a lot of gold work from Mycenae and Crete too, which is why I was over in the Classics Library and getting these on ancient Greek gold work. At around 12, I headed back to my office in the sunshine and ate lunch super quickly because I had a bioarchaeology reading group meeting and the only place I could do this was in a lab and you can't eat in a lab. Otherwise, I would have ate during that. The session was based on a paper that was trying to create fixed terminology in paleopathology. I'll put it on the screen now in case you wanted to have a read yourself. We were discussing our thoughts and experiences and suggesting how we might approach the problem ourselves. I love going to these sessions to keep up my bioarchaeology stuff and my forensic anthropology stuff because my day job generally doesn't include any of that side of things, it's just material science. So I like to keep up a balance. In the afternoon, I had to travel quite a way on the bus to a travel clinic to get some vaccinations for my trip to Colombia because they were only in stock in this little village pharmacy. I tried to do some reading on the bus and one of my jobs was to convert this publication into a Word document for green open access. My appointment was really quick, um, so quick in fact, that I managed to get back on the same bus after it had completed its little loop around the village and go back to Cambridge. <laughs> I went back to the office in the evening and this was because I had my Lingoda Spanish lesson and it was a reading comprehension based lesson about education and our experiences in education, particularly employing both the past and future tenses. And I really struggle with the past tense in terms of deciding which, which past tense to use. So all of these lessons on those sorts of subjects are really great for putting that knowledge into practice. I can't lie, I was quite tired, so I struggled a lot with staying focused enough to follow the conversations because everything is done in the language that you're learning. But equally, that is what I love about these lessons because it really prepares you for real life and has helped my confidence so much. After Spanish, I went home and it was so lovely because the park was full of people doing sports and just chilling and it felt like summer was finally on its way. Some fun facts, this park hosted a feast for 15,000 people on Queen Victoria's coronation and it was also the original pitch where modern FA football rules were created. I made a stir fry when I got home but forgot to film it so here's the finished product. Also had the leftovers for lunch the next day too which was a win. Adult life is exhilarating. <laughs> And that was my day. I did nothing in the evening but watch TV and pretend to write at the same time. Um, and by pretend, I mean I scrolled up and down the page a few times without actually paying any attention. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in trying out a Lingoda Sprint, you can sign up now with my discount code or link. And if you successfully complete a Sprint, you can earn up to all of your money back. So 
Personally, I think that's perfect motivation to start learning a language. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.